thickened. I will just give it a second until the streaming starts on YouTube. We should be there shortly. Uh, someone is saying that they can see us, so even though I cannot hear on my screen, I, uh, I assume we're live. Yes. Hi, alle sammen, og velkommen til den her første Plexigel Q&A. Det er mig en stor fornøjelse at være her i dag, hvor vi har vores helt specielle gæst med. Mit navn er Mette Stenberg, og jeg er CND Education Ambassador, og ja, det er mig en stor fornøjelse i dag at have med os selveste Jan Arnold. Så ja, she's waving, hi Jan. Hi. Um, så vi har forberedt, uh, vi kommer selvfølgelig altid forberedt. Vi øh, har samlet nogle spørgsmål, som øh, I har sendt ind til vores customer care, som øh, vi vil gå igennem sammen med jer. Og ellers så ved jeg jo, at I er rigtig gode til at bruge vores chat, så stil endelig alle de spørgsmål, I måtte have, og så ser vi, om vi kan nå at svare dem alle sammen. Ellers så skal vi nok sørge for, at de bliver svaret senere. Så tusind tak, fordi I tager tid til at kigge med, og hej til jer alle sammen. And then I would like to welcome you, Jan. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Uh, th well, thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you so much to you for organizing it, to Joanna and the team at ICG. And more, most importantly, thank you to all of our nail professionals in Denmark. Wow, what a treat for us <laughs> to be able to come together, ask each other questions, explore what we know and love, which is nails. Like any time that I can spend an hour just talking to nail pros, it's the honor for me and the joy of my life. And we really come together in celebration of our new innovation called CND Plexi Gel. Yay. Yay! And this, you know, this product has been in our laboratory for going on three years. And I have to mention that our own Meta Steinberg has been a part of the project planning for PlexiGel. Mm. Meta, you've been a part of the testing and the development, the naming of the product. We could not have done this project without extraordinary nail pros like you oh. and some of the other members of our team CND. And that's what makes innovation at CND so important, is that it's not just in a laboratory isolated, but it's really listening to what the nail professional wants. And with PlexiGel, you know, I think some of the challenges were really extraordinary, where you have a very fluid formula, a brush in a bottle that is crystal clear with shaper. It looks so sheer and fragile yet it is nearly as strong as hard gel and it is also removable. So it's like you have all of these kind of contrary uh, traits where it's thin and clear yet strong and tough. And the combination is, is really like pure magic. So, uh, but I know because it's new innovation, 
you have burning questions and there's so much to talk about. So shall we get started? Yeah, let's dive into it. So uh, yeah, thank you, Jen, for letting uh, pros being a part of this important task with development of the product. So we can truly say that PlexiGel is made by pros for the pro and uh, we must say that uh, the market here in Denmark has also been taking it in very well and uh, we have very good results with it. So, but uh, today it's all about more knowledge. Yeah, yeah, So let me for translate sure. for a second. So, hi alle sammen. Yeah. Jeg vil bare lige sige, at uh, Jan har jo så meget, hun gerne vil dele med os alle sammen. Og jeg vil... Uh, prøve at oversætte det sådan lidt mere tekniske del af det. Og ellers så ved I jo som altid, at vi er tilgængelige bagefter til at svare på spørgsmål og forklare. Jeg ved, at der er mange af jer, der selvfølgelig godt kan forstå, hvad hun siger, øh, men derfor vil, vi jo, øh, vil jeg prøve at oversætte de mest sådan, vigtigste øh, dele af svarene. Så øh, hvis I har nogle spørgsmål, put dem i chatten. Vi starter med et par stykker, som vi har fået ind, og så tager vi den simpelthen derfra. Øhm, så ja, det Jan lige sagde, det var, at Plexigel har været tre år undervejs i laboratoriet. Og øhm, ja, det er faktisk udviklet af negleteknikker til negleteknikker. Og I har jo nok også kunne fornemme på mig i Facebook live videoer og i den her øhm, lancering, at... Øh, at jeg kender produktet rigtig godt og er ret glad for det. Så jeg glæder mig bare til at dele endnu mere viden med jer. Vi vil starte med det første spørgsmål. Vi ved jo, at vi har, for, eller vi har præsenteret for jer de her behandlinger, som man kan udføre med Plexigel. Fix it, fill it, shape it, build it. Så nu spørger vi Jan, hvad er det egentlig, det betyder? Så so Jan, I guess you maybe understood a few things of what I was saying. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least we have this common nail language. So uh, yeah. I thought that an interesting uh, place to start um, could be what is exactly the difference between the fill it, fix it, shape it, build it services that we can perform with Plexigel? Yeah, no, it's really, um, it's a great question because in our Plexigel marketing, we've been using those four words and what we've discovered during the um, the research and and the development and the testing of Plexi is we know that we can do full sets of nails that can rebalance in about 25% less time because the adhesion levels of Plexigel is off the charts. It's like four times greater adhesion than anything else, four times greater than anything else in our toolbox. But what we didn't realize is how versatile, how convenient, how hygienic and simple it is that when a client comes into the salon and you've worked with this client for months to grow their nails out, and during the pandemic, everyone's doing more gardening and cooking and um, house chores yeah. <laughs> and they come in right yeah. everyone's using their hands more totally. and there's a giant crack in the side of the nail now in the olden days it would be a nightmare to fix a crack right do you remember mm -hmm. we would put a drop of glue a piece of uh tissue paper or tea bag paper we would put top coat and two hours later, the nail breaks again. Yeah. But what we've discovered with PlexiGel, because it is so fluid, you can prep that crack, put a little bit, a little drop, like a patch of bonder over the crack. The bonder goes into the two sides of the crack and it acts like double-sided sticky tape. You cure that on button one, then you do a patch of shaper and that is going to really seal and protect that crack and then you do your overlay you can either do shaper or builder and what we have found is that that nail when the client comes back every three weeks for rebalance that crack grows out without a problem it holds it perfectly 
Um, by the same token, let's say a client, uh, you know, has 10 beautiful nails, but they end up breaking Aww. two nails. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. It ruins your day. Like, uh... And, you know, it's so sad. But for a lot of clients, when that happens, they're like, I'm going to cut all yeah. my nails down. And we're like, no, 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 no. You can pop a form up under that broken nail. You can sculpt it out without the mess, the pots, the tubes, the brushes. It's with a single brush in a bottle. You can fix it, sculpt it, pop a, a form or a tip, and you can save the nails and grow them out. So what we've realized, Meta, is in PlexiGel, full sets, rebalances, you can fill a crack, you can fix a break, you can shape a shapeless nail. Maybe we have a client who's been wearing shellac, but their nails are not perfect. No. Let's plump it, let's beautify it, right? As we go into the holidays, especially. Or there is the client where we can build it, but maybe this client never wanted liquid and powder for whatever reason, or they never wanted hard gel this is the opportunity to say, you know what? We're going into the holidays. You deserve a full set of nails with Builder, Plexi Gel Builder. It's a treat for you. And they're gonna get that full set and they're gonna feel light as a feather and it will change the way they sit, the way they stand <laughs> and the way they feel. That's what right? That's what nail does, right? You. You use your hand in a totally different way. So uh, that was uh, a lot, but I will uh, briefly recap and uh, get back. Yeah, so yeah. når man giver ordet til Jan, så skal man være forberedt på en smør. Men det hun sagde her, det var jo netop, at uh, CND Plexigel under udviklingen af det, der opdagede vi, at det kunne meget mere end bare lige at bruges under shellac, som egentlig var tanken i starten. Så det her med, især hvis man har en kunde, der kommer ind med en knækket negl, Jamen, så prepper man, eller en, en negl, der har en revn i siden, i stedet for at korte neglen ned, så kan man simpelthen reparere den her, den her revne. Og det gør man ved at preppe neglen, putte en lille smule øh, bonder ned i revnen, hærder man lige 10 sekunder, og så lægger man simpelthen en drop shaper oven på revnen, og hærder igen, og så pakker hele neglen ind i et lag shaper, og så har man simpelthen repareret den her revnede negl, og så vokser den her revn med neglen ud, således at når kunden så kommer tilbage igen, jamen så øh, vokser skaden bare ud sammen med produktet. Øh, Udover det så er øh, Plexigel Shaper og Builder kan begge to bruges til at fikse det, altså det vil sige forlænge en negl øh, med en skabelon eller en tip. Og, øh, så har vi øh, Shape It, hvor hvis du har en meget flad negl, jamen så kan man putte Shape, eller shaper henover for at give fylde og kurver til den her flade negl. Øhm, og så igen, eller til allersidst billeder, der kan vi lave de her lange negle, som får os til at føle som øh, dronninger, og så vi viser dem frem. Øhm, mm. Så ja, yeah. Jan, we have questions coming in, so that's amazing. I just wanted, because oh, yeah. I have one question in, in my notes from a customer. Can both Builder and Shaper, no, yeah, Builder and Shaper be used with tips? Oh, ah, tip yeah, forms. absolutely, absolutely. So the only criteria that I would recommend is with Shaper. Okay, let's talk about strength levels yeah. of each product, right? Um, let's start with the hardest, strongest option in our toolbox, which is liquid and powder on a scale of one to 11 of hardness and strength, liquid and powder is an 11. It is the hardest, strongest possible, right? One notch down at a 10 is Brisa hard gel. It's hard, it's tough, but it's not removable. So it's not for everyone. Then at a nine, we have Builder. It is almost as hard as hard gel, which is amazing and shaper is an eight so bearing the strength levels in mind you can use both shaper and builder over a tip or on a form 
but just remember the strength mm -hmm. levels. The longer you go, I would recommend builder. So if you do a tip and you want to do it really long, cover it with builder. Yeah. If it's a shorter length, if it's more like a free edge mm -hmm. length, then certainly you can coat that tip with shaper. Yeah. So you can really customize what you recommend based on the client's lifestyle, you know, the nail they're looking for and the strength they require. Ja, så Jan hun svarer, at øh, man kan både bruge tip og øh, skabelon sammen med både shaper og billeder, og det det kommer an på, det er simpelthen længden af neglene. Så shaper, der går man 2-3 mm ud, og billeder, der kan I simpelthen øh, støbe så langt som I kan. Øh, jeg vil gerne lige, jeg kan se, at der er kommet en kommentar med, at der er meget baggrundsstøj. Øh, jeg kan ikke forstå det, der er helt stille her ved mig, men jeg skal prøve måske at lade være med at bevæge min arm helt så meget. Så øh, giv mig lige en heads up, hvis det fortsætter. Øh, så so Jan, now we had a question about tips, but I was wondering, I cannot imagine ever, almost never ever using a tip anymore, now that we have a new yeah. form. <laughs> The new form. C&D future form. Future form yeah. and Meta, I remember being in a meeting. You were here in California. Yeah. We had some of the best nail pros in the world gathered around a table. And we said, if you could go blue sky thinking, mm -hmm. if you could design the most perfect form that ever existed, how would we design this form? And the result was made by a nail pro for a nail pro, a form that is a an aluminum type material. It's a little longer. It has little tabs that allow you to really create a perfect C curve. And once you get that C curve, it stays there because the adhesive is super strong. And I'm even finding Meta with the new future form that if a client wants like a really sleek stiletto with builder, you don't need to even no. pinch the product because it creates such a sleek, like curvy shape. Yeah. It is, it's honestly, that form I think is changing the architecture of how we sculpt nails. Yeah. Agree. Right. Yeah. So I can also see the comments coming in. We love the form, the best form ever. The form is perfect. And the other day I talked to a pro that said, I've been in the business for 11 years. I've never tried a form like this. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, well, we have Meta, we have you to thank. No. <laughs> we have Shalina yeah. to thank. We yeah. have Lynn Cody to thank. Listen, it takes a vision and and you know i'll add it takes good ideas to come out with great products and we've got a lot of amazing pros with us today i would really urge everyone on our our um our feed today to dream big to go blue sky come up with ideas and let us know what you want how you want it. If there's something within Plexigel that you want more of, we only have four bottles now. Maybe we need to expand the line. What is it do, that you want? And if we know it, then we can make it happen. Yeah, so det Jan, Jan siger nu, venner, det er, at uh, hvis I har nogle store C&D ønsker, og der er the sky is the limit, hvis I drømmer stort, hvad kunne I så godt tænke jer fra C&D? Det må I gerne putte i uh, chatten her, så vi kan se det, og så uh, samler Jan det sammen og tager det med tilbage til uh, San Diego og uh, kigger på det sammen med marketingafdelingen og så videre og ser, hvad vi kan komme op med. Så uh, fire away, det er nu, vi har en stemme. Så so, Jan, you gave the note, you gave us, at, or the the segue because i have some questions coming in here and or questions yeah um opaque colors in plexi plexi gel in basic ah. colors plexi gel in colors jan will we get <laughs> pg in color so 
Um, yeah. So a lot of questions. Good, good. It's really an important question. And, you know, it's interesting that PG was in the research and development lab, which, by the way, is in Southern California, San Diego. My office is right next door to our laboratory. This is where basic science happens. We have the world's best chemists for nails. We've got our own test salon. We have our own capability to do things like create the crystal clarity of Shaper. And now that we've achieved that, um, we've heard the, the fact that you want color. So I have a question back to all of you, and that is, wh how, what do I say to our chemists? What kind of color do you want? Do you want, do you want opaque color? And if so, which colors, which ones are most important to you? Um, I've oh, heard the sorry, request we have a of, w. Yeah. yeah, are we sorry? Good? You were in double. We're good to go. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> colors to create illusion on the nail. But if you all would do me a favor and let us know specifically what exactly do you want, because then knowing that my office is right next to R&D, I can talk to our chemists, we can work with marketing. Innovation at CND is an everyday occurrence. Innovation is constantly changing. So, and what inspires us is you. And if we know what you want, then we know what we should be working on. So, so Meta, yeah. So Jan siger at let us yeah. know. So Jan siger at hun er inspireret af øh, behovet i markedet, så I må gerne være meget specifikke med hvad I skriver, men jeg kan også se at øh, der kommer masser af ønsker ind, så det er godt vær så specifikke som muligt som I kan. Øh, gerne eksempler og billeder, hvis øh, hvis det kan være en hjælp for jer. Øhm, og så samler vi det sammen, og så tager Jan det med til San Diego igen. Så ja, Jan, the chat is very busy at the moment. So um, nudes and custom blend and everything. So we will do um, a recap on that. Yeah, send me a list yes. and we'll go to work. Yeah, it's very exciting when when science is elevating potential is exploding and we merge that with what we know the nail professionals and in Denmark I know all of you are like incredible at what you do you're competition champions you're great at art so when you tell us what you want we take that very seriously and it's exciting for us så Jan, hun øh, ved, at der sidder nogle dygtige negleteknikere derude, og øh, det lytter de til. De ved, at de øh, konkurrerer meget, og I er gode til nail art, så øh, jeres input er meget værdsat. Så fire away, både med spørgsmål og med ønsker. Så so, Jan, um, to get back to uh, some of the things that we talked about um, for strength and adhesion, we did have one comment coming in with a uh, one customer that had experienced a little bit of lifting with plexigel. What could you do oh. to prevent that? What would yeah. You, yeah. yeah, during all of our testing, um, during this whole journey with plexigel, the one thing that we've seen is that adhesion is really off the charts. As I said earlier, it's mm. four times greater than anything we've ever seen before. I agree. Mm. But with that said, that's what's in the bottle. Mm. What matters is how we apply it to the nail. And one of the first things that I would strongly recommend is that you perform dry prep on the nail. Mm. Um, we have found that by keeping the nail dry, removing that cuticle, removing shine, which, you know, really eliminates the surface oils mm. and pathogens, that you've got this beautiful dry keratin 
on which the bonder can be laid. You've got to keep that tiny margin around the cuticle area. But I think any time that we saw any form of lifting, it was because it was either a wet prep mm. or what the lab has found is if you're using a little cuticle away, you, let's say the client has really bad cuticles, really bad tissue around the nail plate. If you want to use a little cuticle away, it's essential to rinse that with free running water to remove all the cuticle away. We had one circumstance where there was a, a little lifting on one client, and when they took the microscope to the nail, they found residual cuticle, cuticle away left on the nail under the fold. Yeah. So, so rinse it with really good running water. Um, try to do a uh, dry prep, mm. remove all the shine, clean it thoroughly. Yeah. With Scrub Fresh, you want to scrub like you're removing red nail polish and really pull back the folds, mm. you know, yeah. pull them back to make sure, make sure you're getting it. The other thing with Plexi Gel is I would float the product on in very thin, even layers. That's another really important tip because as it's curing, then everything can lock onto the keratin in an even layer. If you blob it on, you might be getting inconsistent curing. Mm. So okay, thin, even thing. layers. Yeah, yeah, it would much rather have you build in layers than build yeah. in blobs. Perfect. So <laughs> this was a, a question from uh, Desi Ray. So I will do a recap and come back. So. Desiree, det der kan være sket her, det kan, som du hørte Jan sige, så har vi op, eller er bindingen af plexigel fire gange stærkere, end vi kender fra vores andre øh, bonder. Så det der er i flasken, har en god øh, binding. Så det kan være øh, din prep, altså hvis du får lavet, eller ikke får lavet din prep korrekt, så en tør prep er anbefalet. Hvis en kunde har meget neglebånd, så kan du godt bruge cuticle away, men du skal sørge for, at den bliver skyllet af under rindende vand. Så sørg for, at alt neglebånd er fjernet fra neglen under en tør prep, og så brug Scrub Fresh godt ned i siderne og også på den frie kant. Og det sidste tip, som Jan hun gav, det var at ligge i tynde lag og i, li, altså i jævne lag. Lagene må helst ikke bule for meget, så der kommer en stor dråbe på. Det kan give ujævnheder i hærtningen, som så kan øh, medføre lift. So this uh, that was the answer for Desiree. We have another uh, when we're on that note um, a question. Who was it? I cannot see all the names. So it is one that is asking from Facebook. Maybe I can see here just a second. Um, yeah. So we have a we have a, yeah. We have yeah. a question from Panile. Panila asks if the adhesion abilities in Plexigel is stronger than in Brisa. Uh, yeah, I would say because it's brand new science, we had the opportunity to work with some new oligomers. You know, science is always evolving. Mm. We also had a new blend of monomers that really helped us to up the adhesion layer. So I would say if you have clients who have either tried liquid and powder or have tried hard gel and they still get a little bit of lifting or you see a little bit of breakdown, I would recommend you try Plexi gel. Make sure that you're using Plexi with our CND LED lamp because the lamp is yet another ingredient that will assure fantastic adhesion and strength. Um, but I think anytime you've got new science, new molecules, you have new possibilities yeah. and excellent results. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so Pernille, det uh, Jan hun svar her, det er at uh, med ny videnskab, så kommer der jo uh, også nye, hvad hedder det, 
ingredienser og nye øh, produkter, så har man en kunde, hvor at øh, liquid and powder eller øh, briser simpelthen ikke virker, jamen så er det der bestemt en mulighed at øh, prøve at skifte over til plexigel hår og se, om det var, øh, var bedre for kunden. Så øh, nu er der bare lidt flere muligheder at tage af, og det er jo det her med, at kunderne har jo forskellige typer af negle, så øh, måske er det ene system, bedre end det andet, men bindingen i plexigel er altså især god. Ja. Yeah. Yeah, and Meta, yeah. I would I would just add that, you know, on clients who are currently wearing whatever service, like for me, I wear liquid and powder mm. retention. It works perfectly on me. Yeah. I never break a nail. My nails don't lift. They last three weeks. There would be, be no reason for me no. to change. And the same is true. We have Brisa clients who have worn Brisa forever. They rebalance every two weeks and they love it. Hmm. So leave them. There's a place for each of our product systems based on client need. And I think with Plexi, you know, it's your toolkit for a break and a fix hmm. and a shape and a build or for those clients who are having issues yeah. give it a try and it's you know it's a new opportunity to find the right match isn't that our yeah, job as pros right to find true. the right match of the right product for the right client need ja yeah. som Jan siger så med nye produkter så er der også nye muligheder så har man kunder som nu for eksempel som Jan hvor akrylen det bare fungerer jamen så er der ingen grund til at skifte over til noget andet men nu når man har flere muligheder, har man så kunder, som har udfordringer, jamen så kan man jo prøve nogle af de andre systemer, som vi har, så man finder det rigtige system til kunden, fordi det er jo i virkeligheden vores opgave som nejleteknikere. Så ja, yeah. okay. the chat is moving so fast. Um, I had one, while we were on Brisa, because I saw one comment down here, Jan, while we were on Brisa, one of the wishes was, we want Plexi Gel and Brisa colors. And on that note, we have a question that came in from Romeo. I do believe that you already know who Romeo is because I told you about him. He's our youngest nail professional in Denmark. He's 14 years old. Yay! And he's very, Amazing. Yeah, and he's very talented. And he wanted to ask if we could mix shellac or creative play gel polish into plexi gel to create new colors. Uh, well, listen, Romeo, congratulations for choosing a most amazing career. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, a career in nails can take you anywhere you want to go. So the, the sky again is the limit in terms of your creativity and the potential of this career. So it's really, it will be really fun to watch how your career grows. So thank you for joining us. Um, I think it's really a cool question, right? the possibilities with the new innovation for us to create illusion and art and to create different finishes. That's always an exploration that we love as nail professionals. Uh, so actually on this note, if you wanted to take Shaper, all right, Plexi Gel Shaper, which is currently crystal clear, mm -hmm. and you wanted to add a tint or you wanted to even saturate it with color, the only criteria I would recommend is, I would recommend shellac. You can do it with shellac. Mm -hmm. And I would use up to 10% of shellac to the shaper base. That's awesome. Right? So yeah, anywhere between yeah. five and 10%. And the only reason I would not exceed 10% is that shellac contains solvents. Mm. And if you go higher than 10%, it could weaken yeah. the, the coating. Yeah. The other recommendation I would have is make sure you put a base layer of Plexi Gel, get it cured. So that means the bonder, shaper builder, mm. whatever your choice. Then do your layer of color, the mm. shaper with the shellac, and then apply the protector. So in this case, You have a wonderful foundation at the bottom. You have total protection at the top. And in between, you have this amazing dimensional color. 
And what's interesting, Meta, if you use a heavily pigmented color, yeah. like wildfire, 10% mm -hmm. is going to give you more than a tint. I can imagine. You're going to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you're going to get some good color there. So it's a wonderful idea. I need to translate this because that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. so spørgsmålet fra Romeo, det var, om man kunne blande shell lac eller creative play gel polish i plexi gel for at lave nye farver. Og det Jan siger, det er, at fordi shaper er helt krystalklar, så kan man blande den op med shell lac. Men maks 10 procent, et sted mellem 5 og 10 procent, for at lave nye farvetoner. Og som hun siger, hvis man tilsætter wildfire, jamen så er 10% faktisk meget, så får man en ret rød farve. Øhm, og ligesom I har set i nail art videoerne, så starter man med en base af shaper, som hærdes i fuld et minut, og så lægger man sin farve på, og så afslutter med protected top coat. Så har man det stærke baselag, og så kommer der farven, og så har man øh, forsejler det hele med protected top coat. Så det er da en fantastisk mulighed for at få nye farver. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And I want to see I want to see what you come up with. Yes. I need Meta, I also want to watch everyone on Instagram. So you you have to make sure I have everyone's I will uh, I will collect handles, Instagram handles. Yeah. Please. Yeah, Romeo was very proud the other day. He got shared on CND World for the first time. So that was, Woo! yeah, he did cool nails. Yeah, so that was awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I love those crystal clear sets of nails, right? When you can do a crystal clear set that looks so expensive, it looks fragile, Yeah, it is super strong and tough and light for the client. Yeah. The combination is award winning. Yeah, I still have, I still need to make them, but you know, it's always the time, right? To I sit know. down and do your own nails. I, yeah. You have to treat yourself for, for Christmas, yes, for holidays. I would. Um, so, yeah, another interesting question. Um, It's still on adhesion uh, level. Can shell like base coat be used instead of the bonder? Placey uh, bonder? No. 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 You don't want to do no. that because think about shellac gel polish is designed for it's it's designed as a polish. It's designed as color. It's a two week polish that removes in less than 10 minutes whereas plexi gel provides three weeks three plus weeks of strength shape adhesion and wear and the removal is 30 minutes even with like heavy yeah. file prep so what you're going to find is that bonder was specifically designed for plexi gel to really lock it down for perfect adhesion. It's a nail enhancement bonder coat, whereas with shellac base coat, it's a gel polish base coat. Two completely different chemistries, yeah. two completely different functions. I would also say that the shellac base is softer and more flexible, whereas the plexi gel bonder It's like, yeah. it's tough, it's hard, it's hardcore. Yeah. So I would never, I would never substitute it. No, because it is a hard gel in a bottle. Like it can be removed, but it is a gel in a bottle. Whereas she like is um, gel polish. Yeah. So polish. So yeah. spørgsmålet her, det var om uh, man kunne bruge shellac base coat i stedet for bonder. Og til det der er svaret naturligvis nej. Og det er fordi, at shellac, det er en gel polish, det er hvad det, beregnet til, at det skal holde i to uger og have en aftagningstid på helt ned til 5 minutter. Øhm, Plexi gel er beregnet til, at det skal holde til 3 plus uger og har altså en noget længere aftagningstid. Så altid holde systemerne hver for sig. Så so, then we have a question in the chat coming in. Let's see, yeah. it's Stine. Stina is asking, so you wrap the plexi gel in removal wraps for how long? So maybe we can chime in on removal. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about it. So, so the way the removal works, if you know the shellac removal, you know that the top, the color, and the base have tiny tunnels created by the solvents and the acetone, the journey of the acetone is less than 10 minutes. Because plexigel is so tough and strong, you do not have tunnels all the way through. So to speed up removal, you'll want to use your e-file with a medium to coarse carbide bit, and you want to file prep the nail by 95%. So you really want to debulk the nail. Now, once you debulk, you're going to do a double pad, awfully fast remover, saturate it, put it over the nail, wrap it tightly, and what happens is the acetone in the awfully fast will enter that remaining little piece of shaper or, or builder that's on the nail and know that because they do, neither one of those products have solvents, there are no tunnels. Rather, what it looks like under a microscope is like a complex cross-linked sponge, right? Mm -hmm. And so when the awfully fast hits shaper or builder, it takes about 15 minutes to saturate and swell the sponge. Like picture a dry sponge that you put in moisture. It takes a while for it to fill up, puff up. Then when it's full of acetone, it kicks it down into the bonder layer where tunnels are present. That's where the acetone soluble polymers are. It will let go. It doesn't butterfly, but it lets mm. go and it leaves little pieces on the nail that you can either brush off or you could take like a koala mm. and roll it off yeah. the nail. So it's a little different science. It's a little more difficult because Plexi is so hard and strong. Um, but give yourself, I would say if somebody wants to remove a set, give yourself 30 minutes. From start to finish, it should take you about a half an hour. Yeah, and it is in those cases, I will just repeat and then uh, get back to this, but in those yeah, cases, yeah. you would, if a customer for some reason wants to remove their nails, they of course can. But the great thing about Plexigel is that a rebalance is so fast and you don't even have to file. So if a customer needs yeah. the strength of Plexigel, you would just lightly buff the nails when the customer return and then do a refill with the shape or builder and she's good to go. Yeah. 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 And it takes you half the time to do a Plexigel rebalance because there's no lifting. The file is very soft. It's really easy to file. And yeah. And even if you're wearing builder nails, you could always rebalance with Shaper if the nails did well. Very yeah. versatile. So I will just explain about the sponge part because that uh, is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So når aftagning med plexigel af en eller anden grund skal ske, jamen det kan være, at kunden bare ikke ønsker at have lange negle mere, eller skal opereres. Der kan være mange scenarier. Så øh, filer man simpelthen plexigel helt tyndt, og det er både shaper og billeder, reducerer med 95 procent, og det lille øh, stykke øh, produkt, som så er tilbage, det opløses af acetonen i offentlig fast remover. Man pakker dem ind i wraps, sørger for at have et ekstra stykke vatrundel eller stykke vat ind i foliewrappen, så den kan holde noget mere offentlig fast, og så sætter man uret på cirka en halv time. Og det der sker, det man kan sammenligne det sidste lag plexigel, som ligger på neglen, det er simpelthen med en svamp, altså en tør svamp. Og så kan man forestille sig, at det er olie, der skal bløde svampen op. Det tager altså lidt tid, hvor vand det vil gå hurtigt, men det er det her crosslinket materiale, som er meget tæt og ikke har de her mikrotunneller, som vi kender fra Shellac. Og så tager det altså lidt længere tid for produktet om at komme ned igennem svampen. Men når det så når ned til plexigel bonderen, så slipper det neglen, og så er der de her små stykker tilbage, som lige kan fides væk med den fine side af en koala buffer. Øhm, og så soleolie på neglen, og så er removal øhm, aftagningen sket. Ja. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Ja, so, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, Jan, Regarding um, the custom cure, 
So I feel like we're yeah. moving it. No, we're moving. We went from adhesion to removal and now back to curing because um, we have uh, a couple of customers that have experienced uh, a little bit of heat when curing um, yeah. Plexi Gel Builder, not Shaper, but Builder. Yeah. And um, yeah. we had a question coming in. What are the, so why are the custom curing so important? Like what are, what is the, ah. the thought behind it? Yeah. Like why? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a fantastic question. And, you know, uh, during the research and development of PlexiGel, it was an interesting challenge to get the gel liquid enough, fluid enough to be able to get it out with the brush, right? So we did two things. One, we opened up the neck of the bottle a little wider so that you could really scoop the gel out. And number two, we used a new blend of monomers to really give us this fluidity, to give us the right viscosity. But any time that you have anything that is more on the less viscosity, the more fluid side, it means it's more reactive. Mm. Anything that has a lot of monomer, a lot of fluidity, it's very reactive to light. So there's a lot of energy between the coating and the light. So with Custom Cure, it's a professional way that we can calm the relationship between the fluid uh, plexi gel and the energy of the light. And what we've discovered is that if you flash cure, on nails that are more sensitive, let's say nails with a high C curve, maybe they have ski jump, maybe they have damaged nails, any nails that you think might be on the sensitive side, you wanna build in thin layers, you wanna make sure you're using the C and D LED because you're communicating with the product correctly, and most importantly, put it on very thinly and dose the light carefully. Mm -hmm. That's all we're saying with custom cure. You don't want to blast it with a ton of light. You don't want to put a big lump on the nail because that's going to conduct too much energy, but you want to calm everything down. That's what custom cure is. You want to lower the output. You want to go a little thinner. You want to get it to connect to the nail. And then once you make that first adhesion layer, then you can build your apex, you can design it out, no problem. And bear in mind that when you flash cure, right? So, so you do one or two flashes, you're in the flash cure zone of the lamp, that's enough to give you adhesion to protect the nail. And then you're in the, you're in the clear zone to create it with complete comfort. So I would say custom, uh, custom Cure is a way to put you in charge of every client's comfort. Totally, and it, works. it works, it, it works. Really works. And Dan, you know what? I think that this group of people that we ha have here, I know that there are some amongst us that appreciate a good party. So I really think that you should share your party analogy for custom curing. <laughs> it's my okay when we were designing custom cure i i said to meta we were on a call and i said you know what custom cure reminds me of is when we get a bunch of danish nail pros <laughs> in a ballroom and we have a party which we are known for our parties and you walk, think about the wildest party, right? You walk in, the music is up, everyone's dancing, everyone's drinking, and, and things can get a little out of control. So what do you do to calm the party down? You turn the music down, you serve water at the bar, you calm the, the, the lighting, you lower the lighting, and that's all custom cure is, is getting the party a little more chill. Let's relax, let's calm down, 
that's what custom cure. Yeah. It's like a good party that needs yeah. to simmer down. But not when we're partying. I <laughs> No, yeah, so did... We need a good yeah, party. Soon. I'm yeah. ready for a good party. Så det, Jan siger her, det er, at uh, custom curing, det vi kalder for de her hærdningstips, det gør simpelthen, at, uh, at varmeudviklingen i produktet sker langsommere eller ikke sker, således at man ikke giver produktet alt lyset på én gang, så der kommer meget aktivitet, altså meget energi, som kan give det her mere varme. Så man gør det lidt mere blidt og blødt ved at eksponere neglene for lidt lys af gangen. Og I skal huske med Plexigel, at I kan flash cure alle de gange I vil, bare man til sidst hærder i et fuldt minut. Så øh, hvis man har kunder, der er sensitive og mærker den her varme, jamen træk hånden tilbage i lampen, så for kun lige at have de her to til tre flashes, og så, øh, så er kun good to go. Og det her med, med fest, anal, øh, hvad hedder det, historien, den er jeg sikker på, at I forstår. Altså det her med, at når noget det er ude af kontrol, så skruer man ned for tingene, og det er det samme, vi gør her med lyset. Øh, I stedet for at have meget lys, så bare lidt lys ad gangen. Ja, yeah, så... So, øh, we are almost up to an hour now, Jan. Time is... Um, going by so fast. It melt? Yeah. Time goes way too fast. Way too fast. Yeah. Um, do you have any uh, last minute uh, advice for the Danish nail pros regarding Plexigel that you think that we must know? Yeah, let me, let me think. I think the key facts are really get to know the product mm. work with it get comfortable with it um i invite you to watch all of the videos we have actually 15 education videos that show you everything from custom cure to um shaper how to apply shaper how to do longer nails with builder even nail art yeah. So I would invite you, like, watch all of those videos. I will also share that we are hoping before the end of the year, provided the pandemic allows us, we're, um, we're going into the studio and we're hoping to shoot eight more videos. Oh. So, yay. yay. So awesome. we want to show Builder on a, on a very long length mm -hmm. with new styles of art, Uh, we'll do some architecture videos. Um, we'll do the whole protocol for filling a crack. Um, so there's more education nice. coming down the pike. That's amazing. And you know what? Like with anything else, the more you know, the more in charge, the more power you yeah. have um, to solve your every client issues, you know? Plus they're going into the holidays. I think art is has so much potential uh with plexi gel i mean especially with shaper because it's yeah, crystal, crystal clear, clear. you mm. can embed anything yeah it looks amazing yeah even just embedded glitter looks amazing with with shaper it's like it it gets even more dimension from it yeah it gives it yeah. dimension yeah. exactly yeah. so so but um yeah, yeah i would just because we had a comment uh, in if all our videos was in the icg app so i would of course just in danish very shortly yeah yeah alle sammen til hvis i har adgang til vores uh, icg app så ligger alle videoerne derinde man kan blive certificeret i plexigel hvis man tager kurserne derinde har i ikke adgang til appen så det er bare lige at sende os en mail på infosnabla.icgroup.dk eller søge direkte inde på hjemmesiden under app. Um, yeah. yeah, I just had to, uh, to mention the app for, uh, for the videos. So Jan... Perfect. Yeah. And Meta, you, you did such a good job, uh, Meta, of um, translating and... Meta, you were the talent behind Builder in all of our um, uh, videos, and you also did some universal practices. So without you, 
the education assets wouldn't be exactly perfect the way they well, are today. So thank, thank you. you to because you. it was a highlight of my career to get that experience. So thank you so much for that. And Jen, thank you so much for uh, doing this for us. Uh, the group here, they don't know that you have, are ongoing on your fourth hour now because we have <laughs> different markets. So uh, thank you so much for doing this. It uh, has been amazing. and. Uh, what the pandemic has done is actually sometimes you feel like you're getting closer to some people because we connect in all these different ways. So, um, true. yeah, and we are it's pro now at uh, technique, right? <laughs> Becoming the pro. Yay. Well, and Meta, thank you so much for inviting oh. me. These last four hours have been my pure joy yeah. and delight. And I would like to thank all of the nail professionals who took their evening to join us. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope we can meet soon again. Um, best wishes to everyone. And, um, and I wish you a beautiful holiday. Stay sa safe and healthy. And I'm sending lots of love. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you to you, Jen. To you too, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take Whoa. care. Oh, <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good night.